thankful Thursday. And yeah. again, like you said, we're thankful for Selena yes. being back. Yes. Yes. Like Ms. Quad asked, how was the trip? Tell us. Oh, I mean, we can see it, but there's nothing it. like you telling us. My yes. God today. Yes. <laughs> it, was very, it was really something else. Right. <laughs> um, it was, it, you know, it looked, I mean, from, from where you guys were sitting, it looks like it was a bunch of fun, mm -hmm. which it was a lot of fun, okay. but yes. it was so much work. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. it was so much work. Um, my final concert was in Mpumalanga, mm. um, Mpumalanga. which is um, a province right out of side, well, it was about three, four hours away from Johannesburg. That's us on the stage. That's Ray and KB. And, um, we just, I mean, it was just Letitia. You mm -hmm. see the people turning up, child. That outfit that I had on was an African designer, so mm -hmm. I, I decided to wear Af African designer the last show because it was freezing outside, too. And my, my outfit was like shorts. Right, yeah. right. So this Ooh. is Lay Schubert. It's Ooh, a, it's like a, um, it's a, a, a boutique in Come South through. Africa. That that is in South gorgeous. Africa, it's so pretty. Um, and I was like, this is sharp. I'm going right. to wear this. I might, you might see it down to the circle. Yeah, it's right. pretty. You should. Yeah. Um, and so then I was asked to do South African Idol. How was that? <gasps> what? Which was so amazing. It's equivalent to American Idol. Yeah. Right. Um, it was amazing. And there I am singing Come South on, African Bantu Idol. Oh my and I gosh. sang the woman's song. And, and what's interesting is they wanted that song because of what's currently going on in the country. Mm. They are killing women and children. Oh, wow. They're experiencing xenophobia, which mm -hmm. is black on black crime like mm -hmm. it's it's equivalent to black on black crime here in, in America but it's Africans killing Africans because some Africans like they kill anybody that's non South African mm -hmm. you know they're killing anybody because they feel like that they're coming in and taking resources and infusing the South African um, communities with drugs mm -hmm. and trafficking and things of that nature so they're fighting because of that even right. even the Zulu taxi cab drivers fight with the uber over there like like re like reach them out the car child and beat oh, them up down to the street folks. yes like oh having a time. We were staying in Johannesburg in a hotel and right around the corner was a riot. Wow. It was like just right in the smack dead in the middle of xenophobia. And although that was um, traumatic mm -hmm. because you don't want to hear your people, your native yeah. people, fighting and killing each other, I just thought to myself, like, man, my dad was on the road with civil rights, mm -hmm. and now I'm on the road in South Africa during xenophobia, mm -hmm. you know? And it's just like, it was just like an aha moment for me. I'm glad you're safe. Yes, you're yes. Sure. Um, and that, that outfit that I had on was um, a, another African designer, because yes. it's a third world country. They're, they're trying to get tourists and money to come to the country to help support um, this land, this is a beautiful land. They need more money What's in the, name the of land. What's again? Mm. Well, that outfit was made by a woman named Lydia mm. David Shimbalanga, mm. and her, 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 she doesn't have. There it is. There she oh created gosh. it for specifically for a South African mm. idol, um, and um, her her boutique is called Divas of of Soul Fashion House. So beautiful. Mm. So thank you to her. Um, you know that was it was amazing. It was a perfect fit. I was able to send my measurements and get it popping, child. Get it popping, child. And get it popping. <laughs> and then I, I spent time with the women. Because whenever I come to South Africa, I like to be engaged and engulfed in the culture. Yes, yes of course. Um, because I just feel like here in America, as a black woman, um, when I go to, when I'm, a, when I'm allowed to go to the motherland, yeah. you have to be able to find those pieces yeah. that we're yeah. missing here. Yeah. Yes. And so um, there I am talking to, I was just talking to the women in um, uh, El Dorado Park, mm -hmm. which is like, like a... You know, like the low end, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what would be your low end? Mm -hmm. um, it's like the hood of Johannesburg. So I mm -hmm. went there to talk to the women. I mean, it's interesting because their hood is uh, considered they're colored, which are the lighter complected people mm. and the people that they don't feel are native. So the lighter are, people yes, live in the are, hood? are colored. Yes. The yes. lighter like people it, like are called mixed colored. And stuff. Yes, the lighter people are called <clears throat> colored. Wow. We would be considered colored, mm. you know. Um, so I'm dark skinned. I, I think? know, but it's it's still women that are your complexion, even that they would consider color. And I think it's because of um, their their origin. You mm. know what I'm saying? How what what their nationality is? Uh -huh. You know, so um, so deep. And it's, and it's so, very deep. So they cast the people to that area, like they they, they, they purge them to that area. No, they're they're in that area mostly, but the color are you know throughout. Mm. If we were to come there, we would be considered colored. We're not considered. African mm. to them. Wow. So, which is which is deep. Mm -hmm. um, and then I talked to music students, mm -hmm. um, and what was interesting about them, you know, the younger generation in South Africa is looking to us for leadership. <coughs> and one of them was like, you know, um, I'm an African, I'm, you know, I, I want to break into America and be a big American, you know, vocalist and singer. Yeah. And I'm, you know, America is the cream of the crop, and I want to get to America. Wow. Right. Man. I said. You, you ain't been watching.
watching the news then. You don't, you don't see our president. You, you don't see that that's, we're not the cream of the crop. I said, well, you know, you're in an entire continent. Right. Why wouldn't you want to be a big artist in here, Africa? Here, right. Continent. You know, I said, it's a whole bunch of people here. You could turn up out here. Yes. You know, you don't have to be a lot of American artists like yourself love going yes. over overseas. Yes. Going to Africa. And, yeah. and let me tell you, the, the, the crowds in Africa are turned lit. Very lit. lit. And have, they have engaged. a good old time. Yes. And another good thing about the youth, you know what's interesting? They don't see pop music as the popular music. Mm. What, what's the popular they, music gospel. for them? Wow. The gospel, oh, Afro punk, um, <laughs> jazz, mm -hmm. and soul. Wow, those yes. are the the genres that they gravitate towards. Mm. You know, I was singing uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and the people was turning up. Really, you know, and they love house oh, I music. Would, I should have came with you. It's then. your style. Would have been my style. Yes. It's your style, yes. child. Yes. I was like, why well, would be right on this? <laughs> um, and then, uh, of course, we um, we saw. You know, we we hung out with the tourists of. Uh, South Africa, we had like a tourist company mm -hmm. that kind of sponsored us. They wanted to take us to see, that's Durban. Beautiful. Let me tell you, Durban is just breathtaking. Our hotel was called the Zimbali. It was absolutely beautiful off the lake. We this. saw you. I, I went to deep fish. sea fishing child down to the Indian Ocean and I caught a catfish. Did you eat them? I, well, they, they did prepare a cuttlefish mm -hmm. and I just looked at it uh -huh. as it looked at me. Oh, okay. See, I don't, I don't <laughs> eat nothing with eyes. <laughs> right. I said, that's nice. And that's <laughs> nice. I said, that's nice. <laughs> That's nice, but I'm not going to eat him because he got ass. And that one picture that you saw there was uh, in Kruger National Park in Mpumalanga, uh, which is called God's Window, Ooh. which is just, I mean, the pictures were there. I mean, they just they just showed them, but they're they're absolutely breathtaking, beautiful area. Like and just South Africa is just gorgeous. How'd you like traveling? The food? the food is good depending on where you are, just okay. like America, okay. you know, mm -hmm. but the French fries, I tell you, they got it going on everywhere. Oh, they got that good. <laughs> the French fries got it going on. If you don't know what to get, get your some fries. Right. Yeah, and, the, and, the, and the ketchup, they call it tomato sauce. Yes. Get you some tomato sauce. And, uh, <laughs> you know, as we were touring, oh, we went to the Aquamarine as well. You shock a marine. Um, I had a relationship with a cuttlefish. He kept coming down to the window and just sat there. Oh, he was trying he was, to get saved. He was trying to get up out of there. Yes. It was trapping them. And he was in there with the sharks, and he was like, why they got me in here? <laughs> you know, he was trying to have a conversation, but, you know, and his people was getting on his nerves. And his right, right. Sharks and carrying on going around. And so, uh, it was just going around and, you know, bothering them, you know. And so then, <laughs> while we were traveling to, traveling from Pretoria, which is another place where xenophobia was happening, mm -hmm. um, we were uh, along the, 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 the expressways, you could see the mountains, and it was so mm. beautiful. And you could see all these mango and orange and <laughs> avocado farms. Ooh. And so we were able to stop Look, over and moldy. actually eat from the the tree. Those, those lands. And I just thought that was a big deal. You know, there's Ray. Ray is How good you know, you know, Kingston would have just died. You know, he loves those little Clementines, child. He would have just <laughs> lost his mind, you know. So we were down to the um, down to the farm area. We went stopped next door down to the gas station, mm -hmm. and then we got us some picked because they pick them and then they take them, take them and they yeah. set them on the side. Yeah. Um, it was just a lot. I had a press day. Mm -hmm. When I tell you I had the most out of control press day in my life. And, and, and your I've whole been career? doing this 20 something years. Oh my gosh. Eight interviews Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, in one rocking. day. Yeah, you were rocking. In one day. Yeah. And TV <laughs> was part of it. Yeah. So it was TV and one of them was canceled. Oh, wow. So you started, were at 9 or 10. Listen, I started at 5 in the morning and did not end until 7 o'clock. Yeah. Wow. You're rocking. I was so tired. What and a then blessing, though. So yeah. It was a blessing, but yes. it was too much. Okay. It's too much. You don't want to split that up in two days? <laughs> Y'all don't, don't, don't think the people want to get right. something to eat right. inside of it? Yes. <laughs> And then KD was there, my trainer. He was there for the first week. So then after that, I had to go work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I worked out five days a week while I was there Indeed because good. I didn't have a choice. My competition is eight weeks out. Yes. It's so November my God, when? today, second. November second. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm no gonna be, day. I'm gonna be humping until then. However, I am very glad to be back to the sister circle. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you something. The people there loved the they loved the show. Mm -hmm. I had people coming up to me saying they love Sister Circle wow, in South Africa. That is so and awesome. And they want the sisters to come there. We gotta come All there. All right. Yes. We